So this is my husband, Gene Sullivan, who took a man named Rick Hansom on the road with him when he was younger. And we wanted to say a few things about his life with Gene for his memorial for his friends and family. This is Gene Sullivan. Hi. Hi, Jackie. We were really sorry to hear about Rick, but we were also encouraged by your, really your upbeat spirit and knowing that, you know, Rick is with the Lord and just his life. Uh, and you know, I, I hadn't been connected with Rick or in touch with him for years, but I met him in uh, probably 82, I'm thinking, whenever he was at Palmer Institute, Chiropractic Institute in Des Moines, Iowa. I was happened to be, uh, I based my ministry out of Wilton, which was about 30 miles west of Des Moines. I did just a lot of ministry in that area with Full Gospel Businessmen and Jump for Jesus, my uh, stunt program. And I got to know Rick because he and several other students from Palmer came to a meeting I did every week at a, a high-end uh, apartment complex in their in their kind of their recreation room where I did meetings every Thursday night and that's how I met Rick he he was uh, uh, very connected to the word and to the ministry my ministry has never been a, a teaching or uh, Bible study ministry, but mostly a spirit-filled uh, demonstration and power type of a meeting. And he really gravitated toward it, and we became friends. Uh, I actually included Rick in uh, several ministry programs that I did back then in and around the Des Moines area. Um, I think we even went to Chicago or uh, somewhere close to there at one point but um, of course Rick was <laughs> we were all a lot younger back then and and uh, uh, he was uh, a great guy uh, loved to have a good time and we we enjoyed really each other and he really he really gravitated toward the ministry and the, the thing toward the end of my time with Rick is uh, we would have lunch or dinner, we'd spend time together, and toward the end, he was really conflicted in his heart with the whole chiropractic industry because uh, he didn't, he, he questioned that that's really where God wanted him to be, and he, he kind of lost heart for it. And I have to say, I probably the Lord used me to. Uh, give him more solid direction to his life because he got to the place where he just, he said, you know, I'm, I don't feel called to this. I don't feel like this is what I'm supposed to do. And I don't remember exactly when he withdrew from Palmer, but um, we have been talking about it. I never encouraged him to. Uh, I never have an agenda for anybody's life, but I also couldn't deny what was going on in him. And uh, basically, my counsel is always, you have to follow the life that's in your, in your spirit and in your heart to what you feel like you're being called to do. And so uh, he, uh, he ended up withdrawing from Palmer and, and actually walking away with just, uh, a couple of months left before he graduated, which was just amazing. But um, I, I knew what that was like because I withdrew from a $2 million contract earlier in my life when I signed Evil Knievel's National Stunt Tour. They fired him and they hired me. And shortly after signing the contract, Jesus encountered me and said, I want you to walk away from it all, leave it all and follow me, which I did. And so I understood the calling and I understood what Rick was sensing. And so I ended up 
leaving Iowa and basing in Colorado, and then I based in Hawaii, and I lost touch with Rick altogether. But uh, what a great guy, and I was so really pleased to hear from you, Jackie, that um, you felt to call me and touch base and let me know what happened with Rick and that, that his short amount of time with me in Iowa actually redirected his whole life. And, you know, I'm, that's a pretty common testimony with people that I know for a long period of time. Um, so, you know, God bless you. God bless your, your memorial service. And uh, uh, I know you'll do well. Amen.